Trudy was in nursing school. She graduated two years ahead of me. And what I know of Trudy at that moment was that she was this very down-to-earth, fun-loving, great smile, uh, really genuine person. When I went into nursing, I really always wanted to do children nursing. I thought I would be a pediatric nurse. Started working as a candy striper at the old St. Anthony's Hospital when I was 13 on the pediatric unit, which was hard to do because I was so young. When I went out and applied for nursing jobs in Boston, Mass General hired me the day that I interviewed, so I ended up uh, working with adults. But then later came back to St. Louis and worked for three years with abused and neglected children at the Salvation Army Residence for Children. I had a chance to reconnect with Trudy about four or five years ago. She was still genuine. She was still, you know, had such a great heart for people. And she wanted to do whatever she could do to advance the practice of nursing, to help, you know, our most vulnerable patients in our population. She's worked with the World Health Organization. I was really tickled when Trudy um, accepted an invitation to come out and and see Rankin Jordan. The unit out on this end will be dedicated for kids 11 to 21, and over on the current building will be zero to 10. I wanted her to see that we had a different way of taking care of children, that our care beyond the bedside was really helping keeping these families together after you know such a tragic situation that's happened with these families and there's so much care to be given. I know what a family person Trudy is. She's probably one of the best moms I know and to just see her light up, being here and interacting with the kids. You're a beautiful girl. I understood that Rankin Jordan was a type of bridge hospital that were children that were just really too sick to go home, that families needed to understand how to take care of them, understand how to use ventilators or whatever they were doing, which was a really big and difficult thing. And I knew that she could really relate with what these families were dealing with and that she would just fall in love, and I believe that she did, um, with the mission and the vision that's going on here at Rankin Jordan. I love seeing the interaction between the caregiver and a child, individual child, as they were having breakfast. And I, I think that's what it's all about. Because for you, your own Murphy to take home with you. Laurie was all about her children and her staff and the families of the children that she was working for. What really resonated with me as a nurse is first of all the outstanding care that is given here to the patients and even more importantly it included the whole family. Everything is about a family when somebody is hurt in the family. It affects everybody. And so here Laurie always knew that a lot of attention needed to be paid to the parents, uh, to the siblings, and just understanding compassion, their ability to talk about things, and their ability to learn how to take care of a loved one. I think Trudy has such a big heart, and she really does pay attention to what's going on out in the community. She wants to do things that advance the practice of nursing. She wants to do things that help the most impoverished people that are in our community. She's interested in mental health. She's interested in children who've been abandoned, interested in, in families. And she will not only invest her, her treasure, but her time and her talent to help others. There are people and children in this predicament that need the help, they need our resources, they need to be taken care of, and the families need to be embraced. There should be many more places like Rankin Jordan throughout the United States. I think Trudy's made a tremendous difference here at Rankin Jordan. She's sometimes, I think, our biggest cheerleader. Um, if she sees something that's in the paper about the hospital, she's quick to, to let others know. Um, she's been financially very helpful to help advance our mission and talks about how can she do more. Laurie just has this incredible ability in caring for others, in loving what she does. I think Trudy's very deserving of the Mary Rankin Jordan Service to Children Award because in some ways she's very much like Mrs. Jordan. I, I see Trudy as a pioneer. I see her as out there wanting to make a difference, that she'll find a need that's going on right now. I see Trudy and the words that we all use about Mrs. Jordan is consider the children first and all we do. She really does symbolize that, just heart and soul. 
The reason that I want to give or give back is just so fundamental to my faith and my values in life. I just think we're all here to do good for others, to love one another, and to help one another, particularly those in the greatest need. I love giving of my time and effort and work. I am just so lucky because of the family that I was born into that I can also give back financially and that I can help an organization move forward under the direction of a great leader like Lori so Rankin Jordan can take more children in that need this type of care. And I love it and I'm just grateful that I can do it.